This winter, Game and Fish Department biologist Russ Kinsler has looked through a microscope to determine the ages of more than 600 walleyes from Lake Sakakawea. It turns out one of them was a record breaker of sorts. The 24-year-old walleye that we found this year in Lake Sakakawea is the oldest walleye we've ever found in Lake Sakakawea. It was just over 20, 20 inches long and it was four and a half pounds. Habitat is the key for walleyes to live as long as they do in Lake Sakakawea. The colder the water of the body, the slower the fish grow and the longer they live. So uh, if you have a smaller, warm body of water, the fish are growing faster and, and thus probably don't live that long. Kinsler says aging walleyes is similar to aging trees. Biologists take the otolith, our inner ear bone, from walleyes they collect during summer population surveys. And then in the wintertime, I'll age them. And to do that, you take the otolith and you crack it in half to get through the center of the otolith. And then I'll burn it on a candle. When you burn it, that shows up as lines, kind of like a tree would have. And then you just count those darker rings to, uh, to get its age. And why is it important to know what ages of walleyes exist in Lake Sakakawea? Well, basically what you're doing is, uh, by knowing the ages of the fish in your fishery, you can determine the, the health of your fishery. You know, if you have lots of different ages, you know, you got the, the year classes out there. Um, also, you can tell how fast they're growing or how slow they're growing to, you know, to basically, you know, tells you your forage base is adequate or not. And then we also use that to uh, determine mortality rates. Um, so, like in Sakakawea, on average, it's around 30% total mortality, which is, is not high by any means. Kinsler says in addition to the cold water habitat, walleyes also have enough forage in Lake Sakakawea to be able to live that long. And typically, the larger walleyes aren't the oldest walleyes. This is Mike Anderson in the North Dakota Outdoors.